simply love a good cake that pleases a crowd. And this recipe is one that I've had on my blog for years. And after many happy comments, I thought it's time to make a video. So check it out. Perfectly moist, crumbly, and large enough to feed a crowd. Making it is super easy and you know what? It is lower in fat than the coffee cake sold at one of my favorite coffee shops. Of course, the recipe and nutritional info will be in the link in the description box right below this video. So let's get started. So in this large bowl, I'm going to add my flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Let's just give this a quick mix, just like that. To the dry ingredients, I'm going to add milk, yogurt, softened butter, lemon zest, eggs, and vanilla. With a ham mixer or in the bowl of your stand mixer, you're gonna to wanna to combine this until there's no visible clumps. I just wanna point out that the batter is quite thick, so don't be alarmed. Once your batter is ready, we're gonna take our blueberries and fold them in gently. I'm using fresh blueberries, but you can use frozen blueberries if that's all you have around. Now I have this big pan that I've greased. You're gonna to wanna to grease it with butter or oil, but definitely something. So let's pour the batter into this large pan. Great, so now we wanna make that gorgeous crumbly topping by mixing some flour and sugar in a small bowl. And now some cubed cold butter. And with your hands, you just wanna crumble it until the mixture is combined. The final step is to sprinkle it over the top of the batter. Let's bake this for 50 to 60 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. We're gonna remove it from the oven and let this cake cool down to room temperature prior to serving. Oh my God, I just want to hold this pan and walk around with it so I can smell it. The hardest part for sure is waiting for it to cool down to room temperature. So I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'll be back. Guys, now I know how my kids feel when I tell them that they have to wait for the cookies to cool off. So let's cut a piece, shall we? Mm, oh man, you better get up close to check this out. The cake is super moist. The top is perfectly brown and golden. Perfection. For the recipe and the measurements, make sure you check the description box right below this video. And while you're down there, look left, click on the red subscribe button, I'd love to send you a brand new video your way every single week. See you next time.